Well, President Obama has already been criticized for his big spending proposals and for government ownership in private companies like General Motors and AIG, so his proposals to stave off any future economic crisis are surely to be controversial. He's proposing new government powers for the executive branch and a new government agency. They're the most sweeping financial regulatory reform proposals since right after the Great Depression. The goal is to integrate the system, make sure that there are not any gaps, uh, and to make sure that we have uh, a updating of the regulatory system that worked back in the 1930s but doesn't work with the kinds of financial instruments and the kinds of global capital markets that exist today. There are three key parts. A new Financial Services Oversight Council, headed by Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner, to oversee financial institutions deemed too big to fail. Expanded new government powers, allowing the government to take over failing firms before they financially go belly up. And a brand new regulatory commission, the Consumer Financial Protection Agency, to protect consumers dealing with home mortgages, credit cards, student loans, and car loans. When you buy a toaster, if it explodes in your face, there's a law that says, you know, we, your toasters need to be safe. Right. But when you get a credit card or you get a mortgage, there's no law in the books that says that if that explodes in your face financially, uh, somehow you're going to be protected. Consumer groups applauded the announcement, saying if these new rules existed five years ago, we might not be in the economic crisis we're in right now. But critics charge that the administration is on a power grab. It does begin to look like you're getting to a situation where there's no area of American life that isn't going to have an executive office bureaucrat dedicated to it. The White House says it's difficult to argue after the economic meltdown that there should be fewer regulations, less oversight, fewer consumer protections, but the White House knows this is going to be very difficult to get this passed by Congress.